Hi, I wanted to show the progress that I've made on my MIDI widgets app for Vision Pro. The idea being that you can create a whole number of virtual objects in space, anchor them to a particular location and they will always stay put even if you restart your device. And those are controller objects that you can use to control any musical gear that understands MIDI. Um, so this first screen is still almost unchanged from the previous prototype. This will contain a list of different scenes and some configuration uh, parameters for the MIDI connections that you've made. Let's open the one scene that is in there now. And you can see that on my wrist, there is a little icon and I can tap it. And this gives me a toolbar with the different tools I can use. And let's go to the creation and positioning tool. And now you see that I have three controllers that appear. I have a transparent fader, transparent knob here, and that's a transparent button in the middle. And I can just look at it, pinch and drag a controller out. And let's put it next to the synthesizer here. Um, now let's, let's get a knob out of here. So there's a knob and I can snap it so that they're neatly aligned in a button and another knob and another button. And let's now say that I also want a fader on this end. And then I would like a fader that is somewhere in the back here, but I want it to position that way. And so I orient it here and let's get, and let's say that I have multiple ones that I want to use this way. So I can just snap it and they will stay put. Uh, just two buttons. Well, but whatever you want, you, you get the gist, right? Um, so I have all these objects here and now I'm still in creation and positioning mode so I can move them around as I see fit. Um, if I move myself, they will stay anchored exactly in space. If I reposition the origin of the Vision Pro, they will stay anchored. If I reboot the device, they will stay anchored. So let's now go into edit mode. And now I can look at each of these objects and pop up a menu. So let's look at this one. And I have a menu here that allows me to change what the colors are. So let's change the base color and let's, for instance, make it red here. Um, and let's say that the marker color um, should be blue. Let's make it this blue, a little bit lighter, there you go. And then the controller itself, I want to have it completely white. There we go. And now let's say that this scheme, you want to have it on this fader. I can copy it, then go to this fader and paste it. And now I've got the same scheme. And since I copied this scheme, I'm just showing a couple of the features. It can go back to creation mode and drag out any of the widgets. And now we will have the latest scheme that I was using. Um, and I can just use it this way. So everything is customizable. Um, when you go into the settings menu, you can see I've got some stubs for other panels. Um, you could, now let's say that this one, I didn't want it, so I can delete that widget. Um, let's take this one out again too. Um, and then there will be parameters here to configure exactly which MIDI messages are being sent out. But now let's go to use mode and then collapse this little toolbar. Now I can go to this fader and I can use it. And this will be sending out a MIDI message to the synthesizer that is connected over Bluetooth with uh, the MIDI master, same here, same for the knob. I can like flip those switches and I can use this fader, that fader, another switch here, this knob. So you can see the power of this. I can completely customize my environment and I can leave. So now I'm back in Vision Pro space. I can recenter my view. And you can see this window is recentered and then I can go back Let's go back to um, MIDI widgets and open the scene. And there they are. All the objects I created in virtual space are still there and I can use them and send MIDI messages. So there you go. I hope you thought this was interesting and let me know what your thoughts and ideas are. Um, thanks for listening. Bye.